Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Software. In this video, we are going to discuss about BEM startup behavior. You can follow our DEM playlist to understand more about other DEM concept. First, we can start with what is DEM. DEM is nothing about Diagnostic Event Manager and this is responsible for event handling, error reporting and status monitoring. DEM is part of BAE software. Application software component can report a fault via RTE to DEM. DEM will be tightly coupled with DCM and NVM. Now we can start to discuss about BIM startup behavior. So the initialization phases will happen in a two phase. One is pre-initialization, another one is full initialization. Pre-initialization will be taken care in the function name called DEM perinit. Full initialization will be taken care in the function called DEM underscore init. So if you see the DEM perinit, this will be called by ECM. And this call will happen very early during ECU startup. DEM initialization will be called by BSWM. This called after NVM and other BSWM modules are ready. So first we can start to more detail discuss about DEM underscore pre-initialization. Purpose of DEM pre-initialization is allow the reporting of events very early during the ECU startup. And DEM pre-initialization will happen mostly after debt initialization and after debt start. So the function dem perinit is called by the ECUM during the startup phase of the ECU before the NVRAM manager is initialized. So when exactly use the dem pre-initialization? So you need to report errors during early ECU startup. Example, hardware failures detected before dem initialization. And the system requires error traceability from power on. So these all are the places you can use dem pre-initialization. So in the AutoSAR configuration, if you see here, if DEM pre-initialization is called or it's configured inside the ECM. So DEM pre-initialization will be called during early startup phase by ECM. So these all are the just important configuration parameter. We need to configure it during DEM pre-initialization. So you can see it when the DEM pre-initialization will be configured and when this will get called. And full initialization, that means DEM initialization. The primary role of DEM initialization is to prepare the DEM module for operation by initializing its internal data structure and restoring relevant diagnostic information from NVM. The key task will be performed by DEM initialization is it will initialize internal state, it will restore data from NVM and it will clear temporary runtime data and it will go for a check each and every configuration. That means ensure consistency with the configured DEM parameters then it will handle the memory overflow and it will prepare for runtime operation. And software components, including monitors, are initialized after DEM initialization. The function DEM initialization is also used to reinitialize the DEM module after the DEM shutdown was called. So, whenever we want to report a fault, then those alerts should happen after DEM initialization. So, this is a general call stack in AutoSAR for DEM pre initialization and DEM initialization. So first DEM pre-initialization will happen, then after that NVM initialization, then BSWM initialization, then after that DEM initialization will happen. So one thing we have to carefully note here is the DEM initialization should happen after NVM initialization. So why in DEM startup behavior or in AutoSAR we have the two-step initialization. So we can have only one initialization, right? So here we have a one is pre-initialization, another one is initialization. So AutoSAR separates a pre-initialization and initialization to allow fault logging during early boot, especially critical in safety applications. So that is the reason we have a two step of initialization in AutoSAR. And some errors might occur before DEM is fully ready. So pre-initialization enables the fallback. So that is the reason in AutoSAR and especially DEM startup behavior, we have a two API call. One is pre-initialization, another one is initialization. So the total summary from this video is DEM pre-initialization that get, that's get called during very early startup. So that's completely managed by ECM. So what exactly it does? Minimal DEM setup for early error reporting and DEM initialization after NVM 
and after BSWM initialization. But that will be called by BSWM. So that will taken care of the full time initialization, restore NVM data, and enables reporting. So I hope you got an idea about the DEM startup behavior. So you can also check in your project how exactly the DEM initialization and initialization is managed. So if you have any points and you can add it in a comment. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.